Why did you sign up for the principles for responsible banking? The mics are on the table in front of you. Thank you very much, uh, Martina. Uh, we signed up for the principles because we believe that um, there are opportunities um, for us to improve our business and also to give back to the society. And technology will form a major uh, enabler for this. Ademola, so um, obviously investment is needed as well to transform banks um, like yours, uh, for example, as well. Of course, it is very difficult to estimate what kind of costs are involved, but basically to align your business now to the principles, what kind of size of investment do you think will be needed? Well, um, it's quite uh, difficult to uh, put a figure, but um, if I would um, refer to the SDG um, office of the president in Nigeria, he uh, estimated that um, 83 billion is required annually by Nigeria for the next 11 years to. 83 achieve. billion US dollars in Nigeria alone. Wow. So it's, um, quite, it's, it's huge, and I think it's um, the responsibility of uh, both the public and private sector to come together to, to be able to fund this. But it's not about funding. I think the key issue really right now, it's about um, creating the awareness, uh, putting the right governance framework in place um, around the six principles, you know, to ensure that um, uh, we can, we can, we can achieve, achieve it. Ademola, before we come to the closing a question for this panel already, unfortunately, how are you planning to make an impact with uh, Weimar Bank and the principles in Nigeria? Uh, we, the journey really for us has uh, already started. Um, we've aligned our business strategy with the socio-economic agenda of the federal government, uh, especially in the areas of sustainable banking and um, uh, inclusive finance. Um, we set up uh, the first fully digital bank in Nigeria and the whole idea is for financial inclusion and ease of access to, to finance. Um, we've extended the digital bank now to basically to address some verticals like a Greek education, to address the ease of uh, access to finance, and also to deal with those very difficult uh, value chain areas to finance along the Greek value chain. So really a lot of things are happening. Um, speaking to the internally, 20% um, of our branches have been converted to solar, and we've seen about 20% in um, operating expense. Um, for setting up new branches, about 20% of the total capex is saved, you know, because what we do is we outsource, you know, to companies who provide uh, these services. So it's quite, um, and in the area of um, youth empowerment, uh, what we've done is Nigeria has a very youth, very, very huge um, population of the youth. Um, what we've done is identifying the problems, the problem areas in society and also within the bank. And then we came up with a, what we call an hackathon, where they will come up you know, with solving those ideas, so those problems. Uh, and it's been quite um, successful. We've moved into uh, incubating those new ideas that, um, that came out of the hackathon. And we believe that with these, it will be able to, we'll be able to uh, add value back to society in terms of uh, being able to improve uh, the economy.